we are now here at the demo for the software Aurelion. Aurelion simulates the environment for a system under test, for a radar under test, and it also simulates the behavior of a radar under test in this environment. It makes use of a ray tracing approach. It generates several hundred thousands of rays and is capable in doing real-time simulation of, of a radar sensor within a simulated environment in a test scenario. This is showcased up here on this, uh, on this monitor all the colored dots that, that are to be seen at the guardrails uh, and in the surrounding and in a minute we will also see it in a, at a car. These are radar reflections. The rays are sent out by the radar according to its directivity, according to the antenna pattern. And each time a, a, ray, hits, um, a ray hits the environment, additional rays are generated and the user can define how much rays are generated. He can find how many hops a single ray is doing and then the rays in the end are reflected back into the radar and this shows, this simulates what the radar sees in the environment. Now in this case you perfectly see how many reflections that, reflection there are in elevation and in azimuth. Um, and this is, uh, this is used to do software in the loop test, not incorporating real hardware in very early development stages. Uh, it is also used, it's also a centerpiece for doing hardware in the loop test, incorporating hardware. It can just be the radar under test, but it also can be include other control units in the car to test um, up to all the functionalities and all, incorporating all the electronics within the car. So this is the centerpiece, as I told, uh, to do software in the loop and hardware in the loop testing because, I mean, it makes sense to, do, to test as early as possible because any error that is found in early development stages can be solved by, with, with costing much less than if an error is found in later development stages. The later the errors are found, the more costly it, it is um, to get rid of them. Now I would like to hand over to, to my colleague Chen to briefly show how the how the tool works. Thank you. Hi. Hello, my name is Chen. I'm field application engineer from DSpace for sensor simulation product. Now I just want to show you how we do with this uh, sensor simulations. Uh, only with few click you can just uh, being done with your uh, sensor preparation. So this space provide you some uh, default uh, sensor models here, but if you want to use your own sensor model, uh, this space engineer can also help you to integrate your uh, own radar model into our simulation uh, environment. So uh, first step, you only need to configure your uh, sensor uh, radar model and then the second step you need to equip uh, the sense uh, your radar model in this vehicle and the third step you just need to choose which scenario you want to simulate and we are, we are done so now we back to our uh, simulations and click uh, start you can see our car is running in our simulated environment. So, uh, you can see also the ray is sending to our environment, but if you want to inject this uh, radar data into your uh, software under test, you just need to open the composite window. Uh, this composite window shows you uh, your radar data is generated and ready to use. So, uh, as software under test, now we are using RT Maps as, as our developing environment. So, clips. You just see here uh, this range Doppler plot is getting the data from our simulation and shows you here uh, some targets here. We're just doing this such calculation by using some filtering and 2D FFT. But if you want to uh, 
get some detection list, you just need to enable this part. Uh, then we, uh, you will get all the refresh point from our detection list. So, uh, our simulation can be run also in hardware in the loop uh, if you have some real ECO to, to be test. So, uh, you can you also use our uh, simulation with the same scenario and the same models here. Thank you.